to paint the brick in the bookshelves just to make it The process of staging a home to sell can mean anything from small repairs and rearranging furniture to the full-fledged remodeling of a home. Luckily, there are people out there trained to help homeowners avoid unnecessary costs. One such expert, Jessica Dolan, owner of Room to Breathe Home Organizing and Staging Company in State College, consults with clients to make sure they're highlighting the best features of the home. I walk through a house room by room with a client and tell them all the suggestions I think they should do. Sometimes I break it out into phases for them, so I'll give them like a phase one list of items I think they really should do before they list the house. And then phase two would be items that I think they should tackle if they don't have an offer within a couple weeks. A house that's been properly staged, what happens is you create the focus on the characteristics of the house and take the attention away from the sellers and the seller's stuff because that's not what's being sold. The house is being sold. So that's what needs to be showcased. Dolan says full-scale, often costly improvements are not always necessary, and it helps for sellers to consult with an expert before making drastic changes. I love HGTV, but I think um, on the staging shows, they do show big improvements, lots of work, and people assume that that's what every stager does when they come in, and that's not the case. I work really hard to use what's already in a house, and just rework it and it's amazing what that can do and it's also amazing what people have tucked away in closets and cabinets that can be repurposed. So staging can cost very, very little. I mean, a couple hundred dollars. Real estate agent for Kissinger, Bigatel and Brower, Nisa Smith, says the housing market is still fragile and sellers need to take extra steps when putting their homes up for sale. National Association of Realtors actually, uh, for 2010, the statistics are that home buyers are looking at an average of 12 homes and taking an average of 12 weeks to look uh, during the looking process of finding a home. So they're taking their time and being very picky. They want to be able to just move right into a home and not have to do a lot of work. If homes are selling on average in Center County 103 days on the market and Jessica's homes that are staged sell 30 days or less it's obvious you can see the difference. Smith says in today's real estate market, presentation is one of a few important things she recommends homeowners keep in mind when listing their homes. To make sure it's priced right, because if it's overpriced, unfortunately, in the end, it undersells. Presentation number two, so having the stager come in, implementing the changes. Number three, I would say, would be availability. You want to make sure that you have your home ready for showing. So, do not turn a showing away. Dolan keeps in mind the fact that each house is unique and says a vital piece to getting a home sold is knowing the demographic of potential buyers and making adjustments based on that information. Before I go on a staging, I will always check out the neighborhood and try to get as much feedback from the realtor as I can about who's buying in that neighborhood. So if it's, you know, new families, then I stage the house to appeal to a young family or if it's an elderly retirement neighborhood I will stage a home a little more traditional neutral to appeal to that market so really knowing who and what you're selling to is is important Dolan and her team from Room to Breathe can assist home sellers with a variety of services from scheduling all the cleaning carpentry and painting that needs to be done to helping move items to storage and even shopping for items to redecorate a space whether a homeowner decides to enlist professional help or do the work themselves, Dolan gives her advice on what to keep in mind. I would say the top three things are decluttering, removing of personal belongings so that the actual house is shown off versus the personal items within the house. The second big one is just a good, good deep cleaning. So many people underestimate the value of a deep cleaning and that includes windows inside and out, picture frames, on the top of the refrigerator, all the nooks and crannies. I would say the third biggest is just paint is another really inexpensive, easy fix in most cases, but can provide huge dramatic appeal for buyers coming in.